Today we're introducing the all new 360 Apex. We're talking to general manager Stuart Halley about Mercury Racing's return to dominance in Formula One racing. It's all today here on Raceline. Hey guys, Kendra Summer with Mercury Racing and we're here with Stuart Halley, general manager and Stuart has a big announcement. Stuart, lay it on us. We're here to introduce our brand new competition engine, the 360 Apex. It's a product intended to be raced. And Stuart, tell me what motivated Mercury Racing to make the 360 Apex? Well, the 360 Apex is the backbone of our wide open philosophy. This engine uh, gives our brand credibility and uh, it's been important to us to get back into circuit racing and we are now introducing the 360 as our circuit racing solution. And I know in 2018 we launched the V8 platform. What does that mean for this product? Yeah, 2018 Mercury launched the new V8 platform. It has many different versions. We have a uh, consumer engine from that platform. We have a uh, commercial engine. We have a pro fishing engine. And we have a performance engine, which is our 300R. That's where we started with the 360 Apex. And it sounds like you spent hours testing and developing this engine. We've been working with the UIM and H2O Racing for over two years with this engine. We've also talked with the teams and some other trusted consultants to make sure we got this right. And we believe the 360 Apex is a home run. So the current engine that the series runs today lasts uh, one to two races, depending on how the uh, teams run them. Uh, this engine, when we were developing it, it was stressed to us that they want lower operating costs. So we've made sure this engine is durable and will last multiple seasons. We're also taking the model that we developed for the XCAT and for class one, where we mechanically seal the engines and ensure that uh, there's a level playing field for all the teams. The 360 Apex has evolved from the 300R. Tell me about that. Yeah, this engine is uh, got a few uh, enhancements from the 300R. First of all, we get fresh air from the boat. So we have forced air induction into the engine cowling. And then we have increased the compression ratio of the engine. And we've also increased the engine RPM so that we provide 360 horsepower at the propeller, making it a stronger engine than today's Formula One engine. What makes this a circuit engine? A circuit engine is designed for a uh, closed course race circuit. It's different from our 300R in that the shortest 300R is a 20 inch midsection. This engine has got a 12 inch midsection with integrated lift and trim. And then it also has our number four SSM gear case, which has been in the series for many years. Since there's a standing start in the series, how are we accommodating that? Yeah, the design team put a lot of effort into making sure we could get off the beach quickly. So they came up with a 24 volt starting system. And then also they've invented a very lightweight flywheel that gives just tremendous acceleration. Now another unique feature about this engine I'd like to tell you about is uh, within the uh, midsection, the engineering team has, has developed uh, an overdrive system. What that overdrive system does is it takes some of the engine torque, which we have plenty of, and then provides more RPM to the propeller. And this enables the team then to use their existing propellers um, so they don't have to go invest in all new propellers for this engine. It's no secret in racing, weight is everything. You're absolutely correct. This engine is uh, almost 80 pounds lighter than the 300R. A lot of, a lot of effort went into lightning components. Uh, a couple of the more visible ones are our uh, upper cowl, which is carbon fiber and then also our drive shaft housing covers, which is carbon fiber. Sustainability is a big push for UIM. Tell me, how are we achieving this? Yeah, the, the UIM has been consistent since day one on the sustainability. Uh, we have uh, engineered this engine so that it is 90% lower emissions than the current engine that's raced. Now that sounds good. Speaking of sound, Kendra, one of the things that we've undone on this engine is there's a lot of engineering put on the consumer products to quiet them down. We've taken that all off to make sure that these engines can be heard during the races. So another thing I'd like to point out to the race teams is the fact that they don't have to buy that expensive race fuel anymore. This engine can run on premium pump fuel. Not only is it fast, but it looks fast too. Yeah, this is our premium Apex graphics package. Uh, we're showing it in the uh, signature racing blue and uh, we allow the teams to customize those two stripes to make sure it matches their boat. Well, there you have it, another exciting announcement from Mercury Racing. Stuart, anything else you'd like to add? Well, I will tell you, Kendra, that we spent a lot of time developing the Apex branding, and you just never know what's around the corner. Now to get all the news about the new 360 Apex, race on over to mercuryracing.com. 
forward slash 360 APX.